you can tell it's real because it looks so fake, honestly. <laughs> like, we'd have way better CGI if it was fake. The footage on the left is from 9.5 metres elevation, including 1.5 metres for tripod. The hill under the lighthouse is 18 metres high. If we lived on a globe, 18 metres of that hill should be hidden. As you see by the footage, none of the hill is visible. Hmm, isn't that interesting? There should be 18 metres hidden and the hill is 18 metres high. I wonder if a certain person calculated that beforehand. Very suspicious. So, the biased, unobjective disinfo Glober would stop there and make a video proclaiming proof of a globe. Even though the variables of the rough seas and the inferior mirage have not been considered. And when I raised it, a certain Glober was forced to acknowledge the inferior mirage, but stated that the inferior mirage was behind the lighthouse and that his footage was legitimate. The inferior mirage won't save you, he proudly proclaimed throughout his comments. Okay, a quick side point here. This type of footage is my bread and butter. I have taken more footage of this lighthouse over the ocean than probably anyone else on planet Earth. So I can see any footage and straight away know what the weather and the ocean conditions are like. It's just experience. I reckon I've filmed Bathurst Lighthouse close to maybe a hundred times. So when I see other people making videos about Bathurst Lighthouse that are completely full of shit, I take note. The footage on the right is from 15.5 metres elevation, including 1.5 metres for tripod, taken on the same day. From slightly closer and much higher elevation, we should see 9 metres of the hill. That's half of the hill should be visible from this location. But instead, all we see is the inferior mirage of the lighthouse. Look carefully you can actually see the lighthouse mirroring just above the waterline. Oh, and for the one millionth time, the waterline you see is not the actual waterline. That is the start of the mirroring zone. If you don't have this knowledge yet, go and watch Wide Awake's channel where he shows you exactly what the mirroring zone is all about. Well, fancy that, from 15.5 metres elevation, we still can't see any of the hill. Remember, we should be able to see 9 metres of the hill, or half of the hill should be visible. To quote the disinfo agent who made the other video about Bathurst Lighthouse, there were no 9 metre waves today. Oh my god. I know the Globers like to think of the ocean as a billiard table, but it's not. The ocean is the king of obstruction. Waves, swell, tide, wind, sea spray, inferior mirage, water vapour, humidity. Whatever the reason, the ocean has this knack to obscure objects over water. I have no problem with people thinking it's the curvature of the earth. But before you do so, you must show footage of a really calm day to try and eliminate the variable of the ocean. If you fail to do so, you are spreading disinfo and I will pick you up on it. So why can't we see any of the hill even from that 15.5 metre elevation? Remember, half of that hill should have been visible. Well, it's a combination of the inferior mirage and line of sight between the camera and the peak wave height close to the shore on the Bathurst Lighthouse side. Look again at this footage and try to see what I mean. As you look along the water, the closer you get to the other side, the higher the waterline gets until the waterline intersects with the camera height. This is what I mean by line of sight. If we make a diagram, it would look like this. The line of sight from the camera to the peak wave height, close to the other side, will dictate how much of the hill is hidden. Now, if you take the inferior mirage and the line of sight with peak wave height, your footage will match a flat plane every time. Thanks for watching.